my love song was When I Fall in Love in the Paper Room. And I could even maybe sing that. Sing it. Well, I've got a better one now. Okay, go for it. I was the best man. I met um, Bob Miller mm -hmm. in Texas. I want to just marry to someone because I'm a, a single mom. And so I wanted to have somebody to look up to me. I went in for my birthday to a certain bar that my girlfriend took me to, and I met someone. And we dated for a while after we got engaged. Then we broke up. And we kept on going back to the same bar, fighting and arguing in the bar because of we had broken up. And finally, um, Eddie came forward and said he would like to take me out because he had been in the back, sitting at the bar, watching me all through all this soap opera situation, you know. And uh, he took me out and we eventually fell in love. Okay, so I'm driving this new Buick after I graduated from high school. There's this beautiful girl walking down the street right in front of the high school going home. I stopped and asked her if she wanted to ride. She got in. Her name was Madeline. Her grandmother was German and her grandfather was Irish. Waylon and Fisher. She was tough. <laughs> and I dearly, I mean, I fell in love with her immediately. Oh, you know, the first day, I don't speak English. So my, uh, he bring a friend, his friend, uh, you know, his name was Armando. And so he translated for us. I took her to the Palladium in Hollywood and Les Brown was playing. And I just fell in love with her just like that. So. That was my love story. Now, should there be more? Should I tell about the romance and the grappling? No, no. You know what else? He lied to me the age. Because I already, you see, I was already planning what, what um, age I would like to get married. But later when we grow up, he said, oh, I lied to you for my, my age. <laughs> and he was 15 years older than I am. His favorite food? He loved onions. Um, he loved meatloaf. Um, he loved turkey. He loved to have turkey all year round. And in fact, we used to buy turkey in April if we could find it and, and cook it for him, and he loved it. He made turkey every Thanksgiving. Most of the time, he made a whole meal. He liked uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I don't know how to make it, but I learned, you know. Uh, it's not the real thing, you know, but I just uh, made it, you know. Okay, let me tell you the story. When she came over for dinner, my family had my mother, what would a saint she was. She had three jobs. She was a seamstress. We had a, a table and you know, off the top of it. I mean, it was a huge table that opened it. It had two two-foot leaves. And every Sunday, my whole family would come over and she loaded that table up with so much food. I brought my girlfriend at that time, Madeline Waylon, over for a Sunday dinner. Now, her mother was very frugal. She was a social worker. And a big dinner for her was a can of a Spam with nutmeg in it. That was a big dinner for my wife, I mean, because her mother didn't earn enough. Her father was an alcoholic. He had a scar that started under his spine. There was a crease all the way around the school. And his guts were put in a pan of salt water before he, well, he got it so much to this. I should have a script. And he loved beer. <laughs> of course. <laughs> he was Irish, he was, you know, a big drinker. So, um, yes, he, he loved his beer, and the first part of our marriage was kind of uh, was, um, rocky because of his drinking, you know. She sat at that table and she couldn't believe it. It was food. I mean, her, I mean, she was in my whole family. And then Italians, when they're at the table, they have discussions. 
you'd swear they were all mad at each other because they talk so loud. <laughs> <laughs> What he said goes. In the house, he was always a, the final word of everything went on in the house. And I was very subservient until the day we split up, and that's when I opened my mouth and, you know. You know, we fight, but we just get it over and keep going. I had been going to work and to a, a play and to involve into a movie, and I, I was never home, and he never saw me, and he got angry. And he left. One day, about six months later, I went to the doctor, and I was, had been living on the other side of town, and then I went to get some gas, and we ran into each other, quite by fate or whatever, at the same time, same place, you know. And then he asked me if I was going to go to this place called Arizona Charlie's, and I said, maybe I would. And I saw him there later. We got back together again, and it's been happy ever since. When I'm married, I just said, well, I'm just married, and if things don't work out, I just get divorced. So I didn't know that was going to last 39 years, you know, almost 40, 39 and a half. It takes a lot of work to make it work. So uh, nowadays, people have an argument, and they split up to get the divorce, and my husband and I, we just couldn't see why that was so so, because they just had an argument. We had 10,000 arguments, you know, we never split up but that, that one time. She ran off with him after 33 years of marriage, broke my heart, she betrayed me, he betrayed me. The thing was that I really didn't know how much I loved him until we were separated for six months and I just cried every night before I went to sleep until we got back together again. He got muscles in, in his arms. So he, he was nice, yeah. nice looking man, yeah. And then he got tattoos. He didn't like to kiss that much, you know. Um, but towards the end, he was kissing a lot. We would be in the casino together, we would hit a jackpot, I hit a good hand, he hit a good hand, and we'd kiss, you know. And even when he was in the hospital, in you know, our nursing home, I would always kiss him goodbye, always, you know. Except last time, because I was in the hospital too, I couldn't, I guess, move by. And that saddens me very much. But I do have his ashes. I have been put in for a while, so I can carry him with me all the time. You know, we go to the park, we went to the beach. We have a lot of, a lot of good, good memories. Life begins at 80. I'm 81. So are you going to fall in love again? And I'm going to be courting a lady. I don't think so. I might find a friend. I love ladies. See, I could walk up to you like right now and do that and get away with it. How do I do that? <laughs> After he passed away, I find a, a, a gentleman. Um, he was old, but he was a very good, very good person, very handsome. You know, I, he was not he was not older than me. He was younger two years than me. I had other relationships, you know, before him, and um, I was even married before him. But I never loved anybody like I loved him, and um, I just just couldn't couldn't possibly compete with that memory, you know. Uh,